to the third and concluding part of our IB Expert Extract Metadata Tutorial. A further use of the IB Expert Extract Metadata tool is as an alternative backup method. Of course, you can perform a database backup at any time using the Services API to start the backup on the database server. Using this menu item, IB Expert sends the backup to be performed on the database server and the same applies to the restore. However, there are occasionally situations where you perhaps do not want to back up everything in the database. For example, just the contents of certain tables, which have perhaps been generated by procedures for temporary purposes, and so on. In such cases, I can simply take my script here, this IBE block, and execute it with IBE script exe the command line version of IB Expert, and I have an alternative backup which can be customized to a very fine level of detail using the WHERE clause options for individual tables. Using this function, IBE Extract Metadata, you can also design scripts to be automatically run at your customers. Installing new database versions, altering the character set, or even converting from Interbase to Firebird. All this can be done fully automatically without the need for an administrator to travel from location to location doing the job manually. You could of course also install different Interbase and Firebird versions parallel on the same machine. This feature is explained in detail in our first tutorial, Firebird Installations. Another extract metadata feature that I would like to show you is the CSV files option. Again, I'll go back to my directory exp and delete everything once again. These options I'm going to leave as they are and simply say c backslash ibe backslash exp backslash exp sql. This will generate one single large file. Ideal for smaller databases, but not necessarily recommended for large ones. I'll load the result into the script executive. Here it looks identical to the metadata extract in separate files. Almost all objects are described here, but here of course the objects are not just split up in IBE dollar start and IBE dollar finish, but can also be found here. Here you can see for example the following situation. I load the table country, the corresponding fields, USA, dollar and null, and here I can use the reinsert command which simply replaces this part, which is usually the longest part of the total SQL. IB Expert can internally use reinsert in all its script engines. It's simply a macro which repeats the previous command. Then, after the first table, a commit is executed, and then a new insert, followed by more reinserts and then the customers are entered. We'll now take a look further down. Here, the exp lob file is mentioned. This file was created automatically by IB Expert as there are blob files in the job table. Here, in the last two columns, job requirements and language requirements, it is possible to store blob data. IB Expert processes this in the following way. IB Expert has created a pointer to this file, exp.lob. And in the SQL, syntax begins at the location where data from this file can be found. Here you can see the data beginning at the hex position 0 and of the length 1a 
is taken from the blob file and added to this blob table column. It's a simple process and very powerful. Here you can see, for example, from 1A, the length 5A is to be added to this data set. If you want to get your calculator out, simply add 1A and 5A together, which makes 74. And then again, the length 1A, etc, etc. If we take a look at the blob file itself, which always has the suffix LOB, then you can see that this file has a binary construction. You can see here that all blob data is simply written one after the other. Set blob file is a special extension of script language that allows IB Expert to execute scripts containing references to blob field values. A simple solution to extract and recreate blob data. You can even load images, PDFs and similar into the database and then specify your blob column in the insert. Here as an address for example from hex 0 to 7 times f that is ff 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 f that would simply put the complete contents of this file here into this data set and when I go to the next data set I can use set blob file to specify a second file that's how easy it is to load blob data into a database using IB expert Another method to extract metadata is to clipboard. But I don't need to show that here as it is no different to what you have already seen here. The clipboard option cannot however deal with blobs because of course it's not possible to store a pointer to the blob files. So if you need blob files in your metadata extract you need to select either the file or the separate files option. The script executive also cannot point to blob files as there is no file interface behind it. So, on to VCS files. I'll first delete the contents of this directory again. There are only two files here because of the small database size. Although we've performed metadata extracts on databases of 10 gigabytes without any problems. You just need a little patience. When specifying VCS files, you need to name a path and directory. C backslash IBE backslash EXP. I'm still using the same options here. With VCS files though, I will never need to extract any data as it doesn't belong in a version control system. Therefore, I will take that out here. And I'll run it. In a moment, we will see the contents in the result directory. So, the extraction has finished. And we can see here the syntax for all objects in the database. That is, there are various identifiers. I'll sort according to these identifiers. For example, here is a domain, budget.dom. Here you can see the exact command which creates this object. And now you have the possibility using a version control system to discover detailed data and any changes that may have been made to certain objects. You can see the tables here. And if I attach again to Notepad, you can see the table definition and its primary key. In this way, you can generate individual scripts for all objects in your database. And these individual scripts are linked here in all.sql. We can take a quick look at this. Here you can see the exp, roles and privileges being created one after the other. Well, that's the end of our Extract Metadata tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it and will continue to view our Firebird tutorial series. Goodbye from all of us at IB Expert.